Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. And I'm going to be sharing with you tonight one of the greatest revelations that I have ever received in this whole stretch of revelations that the Lord has given to me over the last five years. I'm going to show you something tonight that you have never seen before, that you will see nowhere else. And this is going to knock your socks off. This is an amazing revelation, and it ties the revelation of the Antichrist together with the Revelation 12 sign. And I'm going to show you in four different occasions within the sign how the Antichrist has been revealed. And this is the revealing of the Antichrist, Revelation chapter 12. Okay, I want to start here in the book of John chapter 7. And I want to show you here that uh, when Jesus went to the Feast of Tabernacles, there are two time frames mentioned. Starting in verse 6, it says, Then Jesus said to them, My time has not yet come. Your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify of it that its works are evil. You go up to this feast. I am not yet going up to this feast, for my time is not yet fully come. When he had said these things to them, he remained in Galilee. But when his brothers had gone up, then he also went up to the feast not openly, but as it were, in secret. This is a, an important part of the Feast of Tabernacles, that when Jesus went up, he went up in secret. Then the Jews sought him at the feast and said, Where is he? And there was much complaining among the people concerning him. Some said he is good. Others said, No, on the contrary, he deceives the people. However, no one spoke openly of him for fear of the Jews. Now about the middle of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. Now about the middle of the feast, okay? Middle of the feast. We have a time frame given here, middle of the feast. This is an important uh, uh, phrase here, and we're going to need to remember this. And I will show you why this is significant. Now about the middle of the feast. And if we go down here towards the end of the chapter, it shows another time frame within the feast. On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood out crying and said, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those believing in him would receive, for the Holy Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Then it goes on to talk about who is he? This is the Christ. And so it's connected to the feast this feast of tabernacles is connected to the revelation of Jesus as the Christ many from the crowd when they heard this saying said truly this is the prophet others said this is the Christ so we have a revelation of Jesus as the Christ and we have two time frames given one is the middle of the feast, and the other is on the last day, the great day of the feast, the eighth day of the Feast of Tabernacles. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, something here. This is an overview. I have gone over this with you. This is an incredible revelation in and of itself, but this is just the beginning of the revelation. And what I'm going to share with you goes way beyond this. It's amazing. Okay, so what we have here then is this is the Obama timeline from 
the covenant with many when he received his Obama Nobel Peace Prize on October 9th in 2009. The biblical timeline leads us by the number of days from October 9th, 2009, 1260 days, three, three and a half years to March 22nd, 2013. And this was the abomination of desolation when Obama went to the Church of the Nativity where he stood in the holy place and then confirming his trip to Israel, he, he had a, uh, he, he signed an agreement with Israel, an alliance called the Unbreakable Alliance, which in Hebrew means covenant of peoples. Covenant of peoples. Very important title within the framework of biblical prophecy. He came in peaceably and then he signed an agreement, a covenant of peoples, a covenant with many. Okay, then if we add from the March 22nd abomination, we add the 1290 days, according to Daniel 12, 1290 days after the abomination, and Obama was in Israel again from March 22nd, add 1290 days. He was in Israel again, this time with 70 world leaders for the funeral of Shimon Peres. Okay, and so if we add 45 days to that, which brings us to day 1335, okay, and Daniel 12, 11 and 12 says, after the abomination, there will be 1290 days Blessed is he who waits and comes to the 1,335 days. So the 1,335 days is connected to the abomination. And so we add from March 22nd, we add the 1,335 days. That brings us to November 16th and 17th of 2016. Now we've got two events that took place here. Two events that are very important within the uh, biblical framework of what I'm going to be showing you. First of all, on November 16th, Barack Obama went to Berlin, which is the seat of Satan. It's the altar of Zeus, throne of Satan. And on November 17th, then we have the beginning of the Revelation 12 sign. This is the connection here, how we can see that Barack Obama is indeed connected to the Revelation 12 sign. And then I will show you within the sign how it is all confirmed, okay? And so here we have the first portion of this revelation. This is the, the seven years from the Nobel Peace Prize ending exactly on November 16th and 17th as the Revelation 12 sign was beginning, okay? All right, this is the first part of this, uh, this revelation here. Okay, now I want to go on to the next part of this uh, revelation, and I'm going to show you a couple things. Now, I separated this. This is, this is step one within the Revelation 12 sign. Okay, Jupiter is just entering Virgo. And Barack Obama goes to the seat of Satan in Berlin with Angela Merkel. This is the connection here. Now, if we go to the next phase in the Revelation 12 sign. Okay, this is May 25th. The, the, the sign here, the uh, picture I have, I couldn't find the picture. And I don't have the, the, the software right now to be able to pull that up. But. The, uh, the Revelation 12 sign, Jupiter, left Virgo on May 25th and was out of Virgo until around the 12th of June. So we're looking at a, I don't know, a 15-day, 15, 15 or 17-day uh, uh, framework where Jupiter was completely outside of Virgo. And so on May 25th then, on May 25th, Barack Obama went to Berlin and had a, a major event seated at the Brandon. 
Okay, so Barack Obama was at the Brandenburg Gate and he had an event seated here. Now I want to show you one scripture where it says in 2 Thessalonians 2, 4, it says, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Okay, so what we have here is we, we have to look at the original text, and the original text shows that God is theos, which is a neutral term for God. It can be a small g, it can be a large g, it can be God's goddesses or gods okay and so he sits as god in the temple of god or the temple of a god showing himself that he is god okay so what we have here is the brandenburg gate is a replica altar of zeus this is set up as a replica altar of zeus this is the temple of zeus the throne of satan in brandenburg the brandenburg gate is a throne of satan and this is where Adolf Hitler drew his power from to carry out the Holocaust. Okay, now I want to show you this video clip. And I'll leave this link with you in the video so you can check this out for yourself and recheck this. And I'm starting at the 30 minute marker with 20 seconds. Let's, let's see what Barack Obama has to say here. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. We have two key details within this, this frame of video. First, Barack Obama says that in the eyes of God, a child of the immigrants is the same as my own child. In the eyes of God, and then Obama does this. Okay, so there's something going on there in, 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 in code, right? about maybe the one eye, you know, covering the one eye in the eyes of God, in the eyes of God, okay? And then he goes on and says that we are the heads of nations, states. Okay, I'm not going to go back and, and re repeat this because my uh, video service here and, and the internet is, is slow and, and I don't want to lose five minutes trying to find how to replay that. A number of times okay you heard it you heard what he said I'll leave the link uh, it, with you you can you can study this out you can check this out but I'm going to show you that when he said that he is the heads of the nation states 
that he was calling himself God. He just referenced God in the eyes of God. Okay, and then he did this with his eye. And now he's saying we are the heads of the nation states. Okay, number one, Barack Obama on May 25th has no title, no power. He's no longer president. He has no power within the United Nations. How could he call himself in the present? We are the heads of the nation states. So it does not apply to him. What does Colossians 2 verse 9 and 10 say? For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. Jesus Christ is the head of all principality and power. That is a title that belongs to Jesus Christ. And so by Barack Obama saying he was the head of the nations, heads of the nation states, okay, this would apply more to what it says in Revelation where the beast has the many heads and many horns. The, the heads of the nations. It's the multi-headed beast over many nations, which are the horns, the heads of the nations. Okay, so what we have then is we have on May 25th, as Jupiter has left Virgo, which turns out to be guys from April 16th which was uh, first fruits this year April 16th at 40 days May 25th was ascension day and this is what Barack Obama did he went to the throne of Satan and he proclaimed himself God and as the text says seated he sits as God, in the temple of God, <laughs> in the temple of a God, he sits. And I shared with you before he went to Berlin that we need to watch this event that the discourse or the uh, debate or the speech will be seated. And I shared this with you that this is part of the revelation of the Antichrist and it's connected to the Revelation 12 sign. And that's why I was watching May 25th. That's why I told that you in advance, watch for Barack Obama seated at the Brandenburg Gate because this is the, the throne of Satan. Okay, so we go, we go back and we see November 17th. Then we see May 25th. Okay, what do we see next? We see that on the Feast of Trumpets, September 23rd, the, the big lineup here. What was this? What was this lineup? What does this mean? And this is what everybody's trying to figure out right now. What does this mean? Okay, right here, Obamacare repeal fails exactly on the Feast of Trumpets. September 22nd, Feast of Trumpets. This news came out that John McCain is not going to support the GOP health care bill. And he put the nail in the coffin in the GOP health care bill. Obamacare stays. Okay, how can I say, how can we say that this is a crowning moment, that the Antichrist was crowned by Obamacare repeal failing on this day because Obamacare will be one of Obama's crowning achievements. This was a title that was given to Obamacare. Obamacare will be one of Obama's crowning achievements. Okay, 
So we have here the crowning event. Now, I, I told you ahead of time, too, that September 23rd will be the crowning of the Antichrist. I did not know how that would happen. I had no idea how it would happen, but the revelation that I had received would be this is the crowning of the Antichrist. So we were searching for that, waiting for some type of event. And then when this came out, it came out exactly on the Feast of Trumpets. And it also linked to the Day of Atonement because the September 30th was the final deadline if they were going to overturn any final decisions. But the news came out on the Feast of Trumpets. Obamacare stays. So here we have a crowning event, a crowning moment of Barack Obama, the Antichrist, on the Feast of Trumpets. Okay. So here we have so far, and the best is yet to come. There's one more amazing revelation that is coming. As part of the Revelation 12 sign, these are three key moments. November 17th, Barack Obama in Berlin. The Revelation 12 sign begins. May 25th, Jupiter leaving Virgo. Obama goes to Berlin at the Brandenburg Gate and proclaims himself to be the heads of the nations. September 23rd, Obama has been crowned. I did a complete video on this. I will leave the video link for you so you can see this. I, I did the full explanation. I show all the articles. I show all the proofs. And you have to just see that for yourself. Now we have the final part of this revelation. We are coming up now on the Feast of, we are coming up on the Feast of Tabernacles, and the Feast of Tabernacles is an eight-day feast. And what we have is that the very beginning, okay, the very beginning of Barack Obama's timeline was the last day of Tabernacles. Friday, October 9th, 2009, was the last day, the seventh day of tabernacles, way back in 2009. And so it was on the last day of tabernacles. This is a, this is a, this is a, 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 a moment of anointing. This is a moment of being exalted. He was raised up on the last day of tabernacles when he received his Nobel Peace Prize on the last day of tabernacles. And so we see all the connections. When I, uh, I will share one more thing with you when I, when I show you all the dates and how it is all connected to the Hebrew calendar. So what we have then is we have a moment that is coming up within the Revelation 12 sign. And it's the last day of tabernacles where Jupiter will be leaving absolutely the final step within the Revelation 12 sign, Jupiter exiting Virgo. On the last day of tabernacles, the same day Barack Obama received the Nobel Peace Prize. Okay, now I want to show you a clip of a video. And this guy has nailed it. This guy has nailed this information. I don't think he knows exactly what it means and how it's connected to Obama, but he's nailed the point of reference where Jupiter will be leaving Virgo and the date and how it's connected to the Hebrew calendar. Let's take a look at a, at a few minutes of this video.
Okay, I will leave that link for you as well in this video. Amazing information there. And so what we end up seeing is the connection between, again, the timeline of Barack Obama from the very beginning, connecting to the end of the Revelation 12 sign, last day of tabernacles. Okay, let's, uh, I want to show you again, November 17th, Revelation 12 sign begins. This is day 1,335 from the abomination. Okay, so this is all connected to a timeline that is absolutely 100% verifiable and biblical and perfectly lined up with all the signs at every uh, step along the way. November 17th, Barack Obama in Berlin. May 25th, Barack Obama declares himself to be God as Jupiter leaves Virgo in Berlin. September 23rd, Obama was crowned because Obamacare stays on the table. And on the last day of Tabernacles, we have the connection from the beginning of the timeline to Jupiter leaving Virgo for the last time within the Revelation 12 sign. So what we have here then is we have the Feast of Tabernacles this year is October 5th through 13th. If we want to look at midweek tabernacles, we're looking at October 9th. Midweek is October 9th. It's an eight-day feast from the 5th through the 13th. Midweek, this is 8 to 9, and this is 9 to 10. So midweek is October 9th. Midweek, October 9th. Okay. And then the last great day is October 12th and 13th, okay? And so what we have is we have the two days in question, which is the same day Obama received his Nobel Peace Prize would be midweek. And we have the, great, the last great day, and this is where Jupiter is leaving Virgo. And this is exactly what John chapter 7 shows us. Middle of the feast, John 7, 14. At the middle of the feast, October 9th, John 7, 37. Last great day, October 12th through 13th. Okay, it's all here connected to the calendar midweek, October 9th. Last great day, October 12th through 13th. Now, these days are all Hebrew, lined up with the Hebrew calendar. This was the last day of Tabernacles, October 9th, 2009. This was 10 Nisan. This is the triumphal entry date, March 22nd, 2013. September 30th is the Elul 29 right as the Feast of Trumpets is going to begin. And then we had the sign. So we have the triumphal entry. Date is March 22nd, 2013. This is Nisan 10. Then we have the Feast of Trumpets here, 1290 days later. And this was the same weekend that the Chinese yuan was changed to world uh, currency status. It's the same uh, weekend that was the Shemitah, uh, the Shemitah ending date. It was also the, uh, the day that the great sign showed up in Israel. That weekend was the, was the great sign in Israel with the trumpet blast and the clouds. Okay. So this was a, an important weekend, an important sign, and all the dates, trumpets, triumphal entry, and the uh, last day of tabernacles. Then we have November 16th, and this was the 17th day 
of the second month if you go to the uh, Genesis calendar because the, ca the calendar was not changed until the time of Moses. So in the time of Exodus, the, this, uh, this was Chesvan 17, the second month, the 17th day. This is the day the flood began. <laughs> okay, the day the flood began. So this is an amazing uh, uh, time, time frame. Then we have, okay, this day was Ascension Day. 40 days after uh, un, uh, uh, after first fruits okay this was <laughs> the greatest day everybody was waiting for right feast of trumpets 2017 connected with the revelation 12 sign this is the day that everybody should be watching this is the day that was that god put in the in the clock in revelation chapter 12 and so we we see that we're connected here and now we're in the Jubilee year. And we have the Feast of Trumpets and we have the Day of Atonement and we have Tabernacles. And now the, the sign is coming to a close and it's leading us to the last day of Tabernacles. So what is going to happen here within this week October 9th to October 13th okay I cannot say absolutely that October 13th is going to be the rapture this other guy that I shared with you okay he is absolutely saying October 13th is the day of rapture I can't say that okay I cannot say that but I can show you the signs that bring us to the end of the Revelation 12 sign and looks like closure on a timeline that started on the last day of Tabernacles and may end on the last day of Tabernacles. So here we go, October 12th and 13th, Shemini Atzeret is the last great day of the Feast of Tabernacles. What is going to happen? Okay, this is the calling that the Lord has given to me from 2012 when the Lord gave me a sign in the sun and began showing me the timelines of Daniel and began showing me the abomination of desolation. And I've had to follow step by step. There is no way I could have just simply waited to find out where the end was. Part of the revelation and the understanding is that I had to follow each step along the way. Those that have followed the steps with me have been able to see the signs as they come and watch as Barack Obama has slowly and surely been revealed as the Antichrist. And this is the reason why the Revelation 12 sign is connected to the fall of Satan, Satan coming to earth with great wrath, okay? So I'm gonna bring this video to a close. I don't have much more I can add to this right now, but this is the final piece of, the, of an amazing revelation that the Lord has given to me over five years. And so here is the revelation of the Antichrist within the Revelation 12 sign. I pray you guys are blessed tonight and that we are all ready to be gathered with the Lord. I think that this is the time of our gathering, the time of gathering, which is the Feast of Tabernacles. I pray you guys are blessed in Jesus' name.